Okay, Ivanka, you played Leandro Grisa today. The end game was a draw. Tell us something about it. Yeah, it was a game full of adventure. At first, something went a little bit wrong in the opening and I thought that I was slightly worse. And uh, then, as usual, it seems in this tournament, time trouble kicked off and things just got crazy. And maybe I even missed a few wins, but the position was a bit mad. So I, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm somehow left with a feeling of disappointment that maybe I could have scored a point. It's the one that got away. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> one of many that got away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the game. Okay, Yvanka, after lots of adventures, you reached this position just after the time control. Yes. What happened next? Well, my opponent actually gave a check and uh, then offered me a draw. And I was like, uh, no, thank you. So right. Because I just retreated my queen. And I thought, actually, I'm doing really, really well here. You know, mm -hmm. I think if he trades queens, then the rook ending is probably one for me. And uh, so he just played queen to b1. And here, I think I went a little bit wrong. And uh, the computer showed me a very nice way to kind of net the advantage. And that's actually to create a hiding place for this mm -hmm. king and to play the ruthless and very calm h3. It's a really cool move that, isn't it? Because <laughs> yeah. your king is just getting in the way of your mating attack. Exactly. You, you need a little hidey hole for it. Exactly. And, and the big point is that really that he can't get greedy and play queen takes pawn because the queen will dash over to b7 and I will resume my checkmating ideas. Nice one. And uh, yeah, it's just all about king safety because in the game I played this move and I thought, yep, looks good. But uh, he had the really sneaky idea of just going rook to f7. Oops, what's happening here? I don't know. <laughs> That. Where are we? Rook, rook, f7. Uh, rook, f7. rook f7. And you know, the funny thing is, I can't even do this. Rook takes rook because suddenly queen to f4, and he would trade off queens, and the king and pawn ending would be one because of this outside pass yeah. pawn. So, it's just so unfair when you've got an extra pawn. People I know. beat you in a king and pawn ending. I know, but you know, what can I say? You know. It's yeah. the golden rule when it comes to these queen and rook endings is all about king safety and my king mm -hmm. is not very safe so it's vulnerable some, to some checks and uh, I think maybe I could have just gone rook takes pawn but uh, I didn't find the most accurate way forward and I ended up drawing. Enough said, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>